Hello and good morning to everyone um, or good afternoon or whenever you're doing this and welcome back. I took a little break so that I could study with some other people and kind of recharge my battery so that I could come back and work on these things. Maisie, my dog, has resumed back there. You may hear her. She's um, chewing on her bones. She tends to do that when we start the meditations, which is perfect because the theme that I'm having for this month is grounding yourself in transitions because this, this season, this fall season, is a big transition, as you know, and the leaves change color, they fall off the trees, and we start to move into the colder weather, so we get more bundled up, and during this time, we also have larger transitions going on. I know a lot of people are going through big transitions in their life right now in other areas, so I thought that this would just be a good, the, the season will support that bigger transition that you're going in. And I drew today from the Spirit Animal Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed And the card that came up is the turtle. So the turtle spirit. So it's about slowing down taking one step at a time. And the turtle also carries his home with him wherever he goes. So we'll explore what home, obviously we know what home means physically, but what home means to us right now. And we'll explore that and explore just slowing down with this meditation. So let's do that, just that. Let's put our feet on the ground, or if you're sitting cross-legged, just be aware of what is touching the floor, the ground. If your feet are touching the ground, pick up your toes and spread them out and put them back down so you have lots of space there in your feet. Feel the heel or the side of your leg if you're sitting cross-legged. The bones, the structure that lies beneath the soft tissue. And just take a moment. There's an earth star chakra and it's three feet below your feet or below the ground or you can take it below your sit bones if you're seated in cross-leg position. And you just wanna draw that energy. If you need a color, it's often seen as silver because it's composed of a yin and yang symbol and it blends together and creates a gray silver color. So just breathing that energy up from your earth star chakra into your feet, into the sit bones. And just slowing down your breath, allowing your thoughts to slow down. And we're going to ground ourselves a little bit deeper from the center of the earth. Just getting a sense first of going deeper below that earth star chakra. Connecting with all the elements of the earth, the water, the solid rock, the air surrounding us that we breathe and the fire that exists on earth at the center of the earth, the energy, that fiery energy. Let's draw that up into that earth star chakra. If you're aware of Archangels, Archangel Sandalphon, who often appears as a native spirit 
is in charge of the Earth Star Chakra and helping us connect with it. And then bringing that energy up through your feet, through your legs, through your sit bone, up through your belly, and into your heart. So that you're connecting the heart of the earth to your heart, your axis to the axis of the earth. So that we're still, we're seated, we're in our home, remembering that shell, that home of the turtle. And just pausing for a moment and allowing the earth to spin around us as we are connected heart to heart in that still place. And just observing what revolves around us as we connect to the center of the earth. Sounds, you might hear something outside. I hear some birds, some crows specifically. Those are magical about transformation, about family. And what else? The air is moving around you. Thoughts, perhaps, just letting them come and go as if they are someone else's thoughts, not even your own, so that you can be very curious about what is going through your brain. And just feeling the solidness, like that turtle, you know, it's very solid and very slow in its movement. So that rock hard shell, it takes a long time to transition after the softness of the turtle dies off. That home, that space stays. So as you're breathing this earth energy into your heart, begin to feel your heart expanding around you, creating a glow around you. And we'll open up the stellar gateway chakra, which is three feet above our head, often associated with the color gold or golden orange, <clears throat> with the Archangel Metatron. And so that now that we're nice and grounded and feeling the solidness of the earth, so that we can feel now the opening to the light, the lightness, allowing light to come in through the top of your head, through your third eye, through your throat, and into your heart. So just breathe that in and let it merge with the grounded energy of the earth in your heart. So feeling just like the turtle has the solidness of the shell and the, the softness of the light, of the soft tissue. So balancing that polarity. You may even look at it as gravity and air, gravity and light grounding and light.
Let's commit today to making the heart the home, the heart the place that we move from, the heart the place that we communicate from. And just getting a feeling when a thought comes, drop that energy of the thought, not the actual words, let them go. Remember, they're like they're somebody else's thoughts. Then drop the energy of the thoughts into your heart. You get a sense of feeling of what does this home, this heart-centered home, feel like? What are the qualities that are already present here now as you expand your heart? If we listen with our heart, what is our heart calling to us? What would we like to add to our home space? So that we can feel comfortable as we look out and view and notice the transitions that we see, that we feel, that we experience. If there's a specific transition that's difficult for you right now, stay centered where you are right now in your home, in your heart, and just take a look or a feel of this situation. And ask your heart to show you or to feel you. Where is this transition? How is this transition affecting you for your highest good? Heart knows that we are always moving towards our highest good. It's just the mind that doubts that, that gets in the way. See if you can collect any more information from your heart about this place of transition. And bring your breath back into your heart. Bring your presence back into your body. So feeling the feet on the floor, the sit bones on the chair, the legs on the floor. If you're sitting cross-legged or lying down, your sacrum. The bones of the rib cage. collar bones, the arm bones, the leg bones, all of this support system, 
we're going to ask the bones to support the muscles to support the connective tissue to connect us all to the heart, to the intentions, to the commitment to let our heart lead the way today. And you can always shorten this meditation and just breathe into your heart every morning. I suggest this every morning this week, bringing the energy from the center of the universe, from the center of the earth into your heart, and just breathing for a few breaths and making that commitment to let the heart guide you today lead the way. It wants to be in charge, but you have to tell it, I want you to be in charge. And if you're facing any kind of challenges in this transition season, then just go ahead and keep dropping any fears, any thoughts into your heart and let your heart transform how you see, how you experience this transition. So take a couple breaths. If your eyes are not open already, you can let them open when you are ready. And bringing your palms together. Let the palms touch the heart and let the fingers reach out into the world from your heart. Thumbs touch the heart and the fingers reach out. Just as a physical affirmation, letting that heart lead. And you have a beautiful week. Thanks for coming back and joining me. Namaste.